What's going on everybody? It's Patrick Mid 10 Outdoors. And it's day four. And I'm not at the campgrounds. I am actually in Johnson City. Uh, I woke up early. Had to do the, you know, bathroom break. And I looked at my watch. It was like 5.15 here. So that means at home it was 4.15. So I've been up since 4.15 my time. So I said, the hell with it. I'll just uh, tear things down, clean it up, and put it away and we'll head out. So that's what I'm doing. Um, working my way back home. But right now, I am in Johnson City. So once again, I'm in a town that I've never been in. Uh, Chloe was here for a theater competition two weeks ago, maybe? Yeah, something like that. Of course, I don't know when this video will come out. It would probably been a month ago or two months ago. <laughs> so anyways, um, I'm actually headed to the... Use the left two lanes to turn left onto US 11 East South. There's actually Market some Street. really neat stuff through here. Um, I got what? Turn left. Oh, great. Go to the turn. But I'm just pretending like I'm a tourist. Don't know where I'm at. So if I do something stupid. Use I'm the left two lanes to turn left onto US 11 East South West Market Street. But I'll bring you back. I'm going to actually go in and eat and um, take the tablet in look around see if there's anything I want to go check out I know it's raining at home uh, it's not raining here yet I mean it looks on US 11 funky East South for one mile. so it's coming this way man I tell you what I've never been so many junts and bear rights and I didn't know Johnson City was this big yes all right, I'll, I'll stop gabbing, and I'll see you here in a little bit. All right, so I want to go over real quick, um, because I didn't actually do it yesterday while I was there. Um, I want to go over Roman Mountain State Park. Now, here's the map of it. See that highlighted part? That's where I camped, was up in there. But then you have this section over here is at the entrance now i'll tell you the two the highlighted part going up in there is on the side of a mountain this is all flat level ground for the most part um so if you're looking to camp at roan mountain keep that in mind from what i could see it was a beautiful park i didn't get to explore as much as i'd like to have i met a young couple from well, she was originally from Elizabethton, which I went through coming in here to Johnson City. But they lived, I thought she said, in Madison. I think she said Madison, which is not far from me. I live in Mount Juliet. Madison's a suburb of Nashville. But anyway, I have found something that we're going to go check out. I'm trying to get everything lined out. Uh, and then we're going to take off and go. I think that's it. But. Uh, Head northwest yeah, toward US 11 it. east south. US 321 south. South east, south, south, southeast. But anyway, that's it guys for now. Um, I'm fixing to get back on the road. Like I said, I got something I'll bring to you on the way home. Um, and then I've got a bunch of rain drive through. I don't look forward to that, but it is what it is. Let's go look at something real quick. Oh, okay. All right, recenter. All right, let's get out. And I mean, it's a pretty cool place I'm going to. Okay, guys, so we have made it to the birthplace of Davy Crockett. 
Now, unlike the park we go to from time to time, uh, we go to Davy Crockett State Park. This is the birthplace. The other park is just named after him and that's where he had lived for a while. But this is where he was born. So I'm gonna take a look. River down there, don't know which one. I'll pop it up now. But pretty place. There's a lot of steps. I ain't going down there. It's just the right time of day too. Um, as we all know, Davy Crockett was, well, the original, I mean, I would say the original pioneer, the original bushcrafter, the original explorer, the original overlander. I mean, he did it all. Well, like I said, Davy Crockett, pioneer, patriot, soldier, trapper, explorer, state legislator, congressman. Marietta did the Alamo. Probably didn't say it right. 1786 to 1836. So what did he not do? No, he did it all. It was David Crockett. I mean, let's face it. It was Davy, Davy Crockett. All right, let's wander over here to the cabins and stuff they have. Okay, this is a replica of the cabin of Davy Crockett's cabin. I didn't realize he was so short. Anyway, <laughs> I'm sure they only built it to a certain extent. But I would say during the uh, weekends, they probably have interpretive stuff going on. But pretty neat. Looks like they usually have a lot of different things happening. Looks like a old garden spot. And, uh, well, there's your fire pit for cooking and staying warm. And cabin does have a fireplace in it, you know, firewood and there's your milling and all that stuff. Pretty neat. Pretty neat. So we walk over here and catch a glimpse of this. I wish the interpretive stuff was going on right now because I don't know what that building was used for. If you know, let me know. Put it down in the comments. I have no idea. There's no sign or anything to tell us what it was. The squirrels are throwing nuts. But anyway, um, I'm going to head back to the truck. And I got somewhere we're going to go before we leave here. But give me one more look at this. Pretty sweet. Pretty neat, pretty neat area. bushcrafters and people that have built shelters for camping this is the type of shelter they built back then so we really hadn't changed much I mean that's a very sleepable shelter for a overnight or several days all right guys what a way to end the trip um, went to see the first explore that was you know from tennessee or from this country that explored further out west um i never thought of it as being a davy crockett like person but going and exploring new areas is exactly what davy crockett went and did um so anyway i thought it was kind of cool to end it there it was it was a really neat place, really neat to visit. Um, 
Now, I also want to thank all the guys that put on this YouTuber meetup. Um, without them, this trip wouldn't have happened probably. Um, I would have probably gone camping somewhere sometime. But I wouldn't have done a four day, three night camping trip or trip. And I did that. Sure, I did not camp the whole time. <laughs> I was in a camper for two nights of it, but the last night I was in my tent. Um, I do plan on doing a, another camp before it's over with. Um, if not two, if I can help it. Well, I've, I've got something I'm going to do in December. Um, one way or the other, I'm going to work it in. But um, anyway, I want to thank the Carolina guys that put on this awesome YouTuber meetup for a first timer, first time meetup it was sweet um, really enjoyed it um, good to see old friends again Danny and Ron Shannon good to meet new friends Ronnie and, and all that bunch um, you know that's part of it you uh, make more friends and you make you know more connections and that's how you grow um, one of the ways to grow anyway but uh, I definitely appreciate everybody watching the videos we are so close to a main goal it's not even funny and I appreciate it, anybody that uh, shares the channel out does all that good stuff for me and helps me out it means more than you know and um, you want to really help me for next year um, Go to the website, buy some t-shirts, go to Amazon, buy some stuff from Amazon. Because all that stuff helps. It doesn't cost you any more. And, um, but it helps me. And I would love to do more stuff next year. Would love to do it. I mean, I've already got one scheduled. Um, I've already made an announcement about it. So I've got one more. I've already got one scheduled for next year. Totally different thing. Too. Well, it's not a YouTuber meetup, but it's a big meetup. So I'm going to make some plans to do some things for that. And uh, we're going to show up, try to show up big. So that's it for this one, guys. I appreciate you watching. Um, remember, thumbs up, subscribe, ring that bell, all that other good stuff that we need done. And I will see you on the next one. We should be camping here pretty soon. Be prepared.